Hello, my name's Anne-Marie Vo and I'm a designer with CraftsUprint.com. To see any of my work, you can simply go to www.CraftsUprint.com slash Anne-Marie Vo. Today I'd like to show you how to make a rounded edge spiral stacker card front kit. This is the design that we're going to be making. I shall spin it all the way around so you can get an idea of the actual edges on the card and the actual finish that it can give you. Now the kit itself is an 8x8 size kit. This is slightly larger than your normal card fronts. However, I'm going to also show you how to make the card that we've put the card front on. So that's the finished item. I will give you the item number in a moment. I'd like to show you the tools that I've used to be able to make this. So I'll just put this to one side. The tools I've used for this, silicone glue dots. You might want to use silicone glue. I've used a pen, flat adhesive tape, scissors, ribbon, foam pads, now I've only used these for quickness, the foam pads, because I do like silicone glue. I've used a bone folder and a paper trimmer. So I shall put those to one side for now. Right, first of all you're going to have to go to the website and print off your design. You're going to print off seven sheets. I'll just quickly go through the base layers and I will show you the instructions and the little diagram that I've included on the sheets. Sheet 1 and 2, the first sheet is the base image. Now this has a diagram on for a stacker kit called Into the Middle. The second sheet with layers 1 and 3 is a diagram for the spiral edge, rounded edge stacker. So you can actually get two designs from one, uh, from one kit. The kit is called Winter Pub Snow Rounded Edge Stacker Kit and the cut number is 122229 underscore 10. Right, so you'll print off your sheets, seven sheets, you'll decide which design that you'd like to use. I've decided that I'd like to use the spiral edge um, design and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you cut out all the layers and the base image from the sheets that you've just printed off. Just to save time, as Valerie Singleton would be very proud of me, here's one I made earlier. So I'm going to put the image to one side now our base card that we're going to use, because the actual design isn't a standard size for cards and you're going to say I'm re I haven't got a folded card that's 8 by 8 inches or I'm a scrapbooker I've only got paper that size what can I do well I'm re says why don't you make your own card I've taken two sheets of A4 card and I've trimmed it at one side I've trimmed it down to 9 inches in length using my paper trimmer I've also scored the front of the card an inch in so that we've got one fold to enable it to do that. I've also already put flat tape on the edge that's scored if the camera can pick that up. So what we do is after measuring it and trimming it to size we peel off the tape which I shall do for you now Oh, I always get a tricky one and we're going to make it edge to edge I'll turn it this way so that I can see and you can see as well and we're going to put it edge to edge like so that edge and like so if for any reason you've got any overlying bits you can always trim it to size afterwards now I'm quite happy with that and it's made a nice card back sorry about my fingerprints obviously I've got to hold it for you to see so we've got a nice folding card now 
on the actual finished card I've added a band of ribbon this is for two reasons one to hold the two pieces of card together because the card front is quite heavy and the other for decorative for time I've already added my flat adhesive tape to the back of the ribbon just because you don't really want to sit and watch me do this now top tip here crafters because I'm not perfect and nobody else is perfect I start from the middle on the front of the card and I run the ribbon all the way around the outside rather than starting on the back and coming round to the front so that's what we'll do first I don't peel off all the tape and then I've got more control so I'm going to start in the middle of the card on the front I'm going to pull it quite tight and then I'm going to turn my card over I'm going to run it across the back of the card following the eye line to the top of the card like so and run it right the way along I'm going to turn my card over with the other hand controlling the back of the tape pull the ribbon tight to the middle and it will overlap like so if you've got any unsightly edges like that don't worry because the bow that you're going to put on it is now going to cover it so I'll get rid of my rubbish I've already pre-tied a bow I will show you in another episode how to tie a bow but for quickness I'm just going to add a glue dot to the back so I take my glue dots like so pull it off like that oops it'll stick to me more wiggle it put it back in shape and add it roughly to the centre of the card pull it a little bit tight like so so that's our base card there we go you can always add a little bit of adhesive underneath the bow if you feel it is a bit too floppy but I'm quite happy with mine so that's our base card made in a larger than life size for our card front I'm just going to put this to one side while we work on the actual front of the design now after you've printed it off and you've cut your layers out and you attach foam pads to the backs of them in a previous episode of Cut TV I did mention about adding the foam pads in the same places to be able to get even layers again I've used that in this method as well for this design so from now I'm going to start and I'm going to go from one corner from one edge which will be this edge and I'm going to follow the design around with the edge uh, with the rounded edges just a top tip here crafters I've actually put on the back of the edges left right bottom top I don't know if the cameras can actually see that now that is just just for me basically so I know which edge is going to go where because obviously filming it I don't want to make a mess of it so first of all I'm going to try and work upside down so that you can see what I'm doing so we're going to take our spiral edge and because this it would be number one and it would actually be facing you here I'm going to start with this one I'm going to take the foam tape off the back like so I'm going to run it across the edge using the, my eye line and the design to marry it up because it's quite a, a forgiving design really there we go bow to bow, flake to flake now because it would be facing you normally you would work to the left, to the top, to the right so 
I want you to be able to see what I'm doing, so I'm going to go to the left side first. Take the tape off the back, my foam pads. So this is the left side, line it up corner to corner, snowflake to snowflake, edge to edge, if you can see that there, where I've married it up with the design in a row. So then I've got the easy one in front of me that I can see. She says easy, it probably won't be. Take the foam pads off. Uh, sorry, the backs of the foam pads. So corner to corner, edge to edge into the corner. And all the time we're building a spiral as a spiral staircase. Now this is the last layer that I've got to put on for you. If you don't particularly want to use all four layers, you don't have to. But I've just designed it that way just to give it some depth and make it look as though you've spent a lot of time over it. So that's edge to edge, follow the design, corner to corner, and there we have finished for you to see the actual edges. Oops, I'll spin that round like so. Right. Previously on Craft Shoe Print, um, in another episode, I actually said on the base layer, always put your adhesive tape on first because once you've put your layers on, it's very difficult to get it nice and straight and even. So I've already done that. So I'm going to take my card that we've just made, ready with the bow, and I'm going to take the card front and I'm going to peel off the flat adhesive that we've already put on. So just give me a moment while I do that. You'll be able to take a lot more time and make it a lot neater. I just want to be able to show you roughly how to put the stackers together. So we've taken the adhesive off and now we're going to measure up by eye line again. If you're not confident you could use a ruler and we're going to put that on the top of our card. There we go. Flatten it down. Make the bow a little bit straighter. And there, finished. Finished design. I'd really like to thank you again for your time, for watching. If you'd like to see any of my designs, please go to www.craftshoeprint.com slash Thank you.